along and welcome back to Ohio and American Life Farming. We're heading down to the shop because it's time to get our first crops planted today on our farm. Uh, we need to get ourselves a plant to do this, of course. Uh, and we're going to be starting with the sunflowers because their harvesting window has opened. The ground temperature is still a couple of degrees low, but... Uh, we're looking at a good temperature today, so I'm expecting that to rise and, and hopefully mean that we end up with a good amount of uh, temperature in the soil, uh, which should make them germinate in the next couple of days. And so we're going to pop in here and we're going to get a good all-round planter for us. Now, I've got on here uh, as large. We can go as large as the, the DB90, but I'm not going to. We're going to try out the DB60 first. It's actually more expensive to get the DB60. I think the DB90 doesn't hold quite so many seeds so this is more of a case of less width uh, but more capacity on it so i'm going to add a couple of extra tanks we're going to have an extra liquid fertilizer tank and we're actually uh, going to have extra seed tanks on here uh, i'm not going to add any lights or anything we're not planning to do anything in the dark uh, no extra wheel configurations i am going to put the wide tires on it uh, no GPS because we've got GPS on the tractor. We also need no ridge markers, um, again, because we have GPS on the tractor. And that, hopefully, is going to give us a pretty good start. We have got a hitch on the back. And what I'm actually thinking is we'll take the liquid fuel tank off this, buy that, and see how much a trailed fertilizer tank would be on here now we should have a couple of them available to us that is not what i'm looking for here's what i'm looking for so we've got a few choices here i don't know if this side quest will fit on our i don't think that will fit on our john deere unfortunately uh, that would be good if it did. But we've got these two choices here. So 23,000 here. We've got this. Uh, it's This has additional capacity on it of uh, 7,000. Uh, yeah, 7,570. Whereas, oh, wow, they both have the same amount. This is an actual John Deere one. And I'm kind of hoping this is going to work well for us. So let's grab this. See if this works. Uh, we can always sell it back if it doesn't. And that will be good. Uh, so we got, we're going to get the seeds first. Let's go and hook these up and see what capacities we have for each of them. So jump into our 7R. I'm going to turn the uh, lights off while we're on here. And see if we can hook this up. Somebody is suggesting that I should be using jewels on this, so we might reconfigure this down at our workshop for jewel tires when we get back. There we go. That is all connected up. And then, just popping out here, let's see if we can hook up this fertilizer tank to the back as well. Uh, so this holds more stuff, uh, is fairly inexpensive. And hopefully, we'll connect. Yes. There we go. No connection on those. Let's see if we have fertilizer. Okay, we seem to. I think we have fertilizer on the back of this. So let's purchase ourselves. So we've got 4,404 4, of the seed. So let's grab ourselves some seed pallets. We should have in here. Yep, yeah, there we go. We are doing sunflowers. So we want some sunflower seed. Where are you? Seed potato, seed onion, sugar beet, sunflower. Right. Uh, for this, we get 2,100. This is perfect. So we want two pallets of this to start us off. There we go. And we'll load that up. Uh, now, that's going to be fun with all this trail stuff. Uh, and in fact, what I might do is at the same time uh, buy us some fertilizer. So liquid fertilizer is what we want. Uh, 2,000 litres. Let's just get one of those for now. 
and see if that hooks up as well and see if that all works and hopefully this means we'll get everything in at once so get these over here yep that did hook up for that yeah there we go and that is filling with the sunflower seeds from the front batch so these are these are working as they should and that seems to be working fine i had to move around a little bit but yeah we're filling up with that as well uh, that is good so, so we'll get this filled up and then we're going to try this liquid fertilizer as well so i've moved around a bit and i i can't work out how to get this filled what i'm going to do actually is we'll drop off our toad bit i don't know if this works with this this should work with this uh and then we will drop off this bit as well we'll drop off our cedar and if this doesn't work what we'll do is we'll reconfigure the cedar we'll add on that extra tank and see if we can uh, get this to work but at the moment this doesn't seem to want to work at all it does come with another bit of kit this one so uh, it doesn't overly surprise me wow right let's see if this will load now in which case i think we're probably gonna have to change what we have no that won't load that i can't see anywhere to connect it up actually for uh, for anything else so yeah we're gonna sell this uh, and we'll add the extra tank onto our cedar hopefully that's not going to take too much stuff so open this up oh we need to we need to do this from the inside that's what i love about these you have to go all the way in round into here and open the door from these buttons here there we go so let's get this into here and while we're in here we might as well reconfigure this tractor and add in the uh tires as well so drop that off and then come over here not the tractor this uh we want to sell that we'll get all our money back and then we want to customize our tractor as well and i'm just gonna add on not those these i think i don't think we need the wheel weights in fact i'm not sure i think what i might do is just go with the jewels on the back like that maybe uh we've got to change the weight holder as well we'll give a little bit of that and we had nope there we go that's sorted it that's better uh sometimes you get customization options just go weird do i go with the extra i go with the extra we'll, we'll do the full dual setup for this so that's going to cost us eight thousand that's fine uh and our tractor is looking very spiffy as a result of that perfect uh we don't really need the front loader console on this at the moment but it's possibly something that we could have left off previously uh it was at the time when i was considering uh having a dual setup on our telehandler and for for this stuff um but for now i think we can leave it as it is we do need to reverse this in though and get the liquid fertilizer tank added to it so we'll do that as well and this is basically where our extra twelve thousand is going uh, that we just got uh, is that we're going to be redoing this and uh, we've added the jewels onto our tractor so reverse you are into the shed like so so pleased that worked first time and in here we go and get this updated so that we can then go and fill up with some liquid fertilizer so configurations it's the tank configuration we're looking for uh, additional tanks there we go and we're going to go full whack like so and just that should still be all of our configuration that we set up yep customize 
another 2750 and we're all good let's hook it back up right and head back over here i'm going to refill this hopefully now with the liquid fertilizer and after that uh we're gonna head back down to the farm and get everything uh, done is it gonna refill that is the question back you up there we go Right, we'll refill that, and then we'll head back down to the farm. Looks like we're going to be leaving a little bit of it here. My plan here with these sunflowers is to see how far this goes. So we're doing field 38. It's a slimmer field for us. Uh, but if we can work out how far this will go, that will work better for us. And hopefully will allow us... So then estimate how many more we need to go down and get. We'll unfold this. I know there I think it goes. It takes a little while by the looks of things to unfold this. Yeah. There it goes. I want to pull it forward a little bit as he's doing it. We're going to set up GPS on here, going down the field. And we're not going to do a headland at this end. We've no need to. We've got plenty of space to turn. Uh, we will probably try and do one at the other end, though. So let's turn this on. We've got 300 horsepower on this tractor. This takes about 250-ish, I think. So uh, let's turn it on we'll turn on our gps and we'll set our first waypoint as well drop it down and away we go hopefully this is going to be a nice clean setup uh, that will allow us to um to do well and uh, yeah that is throwing up the fertilizer we are gonna have to fertilize this a whole load more though that is nowhere near the green uh, and this is going to use a fair amount of it i think coming to the far end of the field and yeah we are going to have to have a headland down this end there is not a lot of space to work i also going to need to try and do something about that patch at the end uh, that is uh wow a little bit off the line but we're okay so we'll turn this round we'll uh, we'll get that headland done later uh give ourselves a little bit of space down we go uh and actually we're not using the sunflowers that far we we down by about uh 10 percent uh liquid fertilizer is uh, is not going down very quickly at all uh very much expecting that we are going to get most of the way through this field on what we've got on this cedar uh, and i'm quite happy this 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 planter is really good it is doing the job we want it to and yeah we didn't need anywhere near seven thousand liters of liquid fertilizer to do this field about halfway through this field and we've only used 22 percent of our sunflowers that is really good news i'm very very pleased with that uh tractor is running smoothly fertilizer we've we've only used about 18 percent of that as well uh we are gonna have plenty to get through the rest of this field uh, bodes really really well later on i'm going through my mind at the moment exactly what we still need to get ahead of harvest on the farm uh i i know that i am definitely going to need a sprayer now we're going to need to spray more liquid fertilizer on here as our crops grow uh we are also going to need to spray herbicide on here in order to prevent uh, any kind of weed problem uh, so we've got that and that we need to get on our uh, john deere sprayer um i also know that i'm gonna need I'm just, I just thinking there's a couple other things I really, really must need, I think, uh, to uh, to get uh, done and dusted. Uh, we're going to need more, obviously, more seeds and, and things. Oh, yes, we need a cultivator um, because the downside of this is we've, we've 
ploughed this field, uh, but this planter, as far as I know, is not a direct planter. So we're going to need a cultivator to uh, to do our other fields. I've got a couple lined up that should work quite well for us. So we're, we're going to have a look at that uh, in the near future. Uh, also looking at ways we can use our, our big TLX lorry without having to buy another tractor. Uh, there are a few things. Uh, so, for example, I am looking at... Um, there's a, there's a, a manure spreader, I think, that's, uh, that's possibly available that we could use with it. Um, we're going to use it as a, a forage... Uh, for, for the forage stuff later i've got a nice big forage trailer and of course there is 82 studios new uh big trailer that i'm very much looking forward to uh, that got sent off to giants over the weekend and uh, and hopefully that will be out soon uh, and we'll be able to use that on this farm as well so yeah i'm looking to try and get as much use out of all of our equipment we've got on here as i possibly can Got the main part of the field done, and I'm now doing this extra bit down the side. We are still at 60% sunflowers. We're going to have enough sunflowers to do this field twice over if we wanted. Really interesting, because now I want to know how far the corn is going to go on the field next door to us. We basically have three main fields that we're planting with our three main crops for this year. Um, I'm trying to remember if I said earlier, I'm, I, this is how my mind works. Um, if we have, uh, the, the basically the, the crops I've chosen on here are chosen because they all plant, uh, their, their harvest winter windows all open in the spring uh, and they are all harvestable fairly early uh, in the summer so with any luck uh, we'll be able to get a nice good crop off of all of these the first year and then second year we'll be able to customize our crop rotation a bit and uh, and hopefully get some winter crops in here maybe get a bit of winter wheat in or or some winter millet or rye or something like that um get those planted and mix things up come the autumn and going into the second year uh first year though we're we're fairly limited i think on what crops we uh, we have in here and we want to make the most of uh, of what the weather is going to give us any traffic coming yeah we've got car because i'm gonna swing around on the road like so thankfully the farmer across the road hasn't planted anything and bring us back and into here then we can just plant this back part of the field here uh, and then go up and fill in the triangle as well and that should mean that this field then is all done with a probably uh, well, I, th I think we're going to have 50% of these uh, sunflower seeds left. Uh, that is brilliant. I've got a test I want to do next with the seed storage on this map. So we're going to be trying that out next. Uh, but this field is all but done. And in fact, that is it pretty much done. We've got this little area here to fill up. Oh, no, we've got one more beyond this. The, uh, the direction of the... Uh, lines and everything on this field are a little bit weird i am basically going well i've been basically going north south and it's still been going at a 45 degree angle um i might have a word with lance boy because yeah something seems a little bit off on the uh, on the texture on this field and uh, and uh, in general on here uh, for the planting uh, it seems to be stuck to one angle so uh, the terrain angle that's the word I was looking for. Uh, seems to be a little bit weird. Uh, we've got 54% left of the sunflowers and 59% left of our liquid fertilizer. That is perfect. So we'll take this back to the yard. Oh, let's give that a moment to fold in. Uh, and we're going to empty out these seeds, uh, the remaining sunflower seeds we've got. Uh, try and load them into the... Oh, that's all locking in. There we go. Uh, try and unload them 
into the seed storage and do that uh, so that is around here and into here yeah so there's seed storage over there do i have uh, unload this like so and yeah look we have an entire we have an entire pallet of sunflower seeds left over and my teller handler is over here hopefully i think oh no we've not got a pallet fork on it yet so need to go and grab ourselves a pallet fork and head back up here with it uh, see if we can deal with those seeds otherwise yeah it's one of those things uh let's put this in here whoa stop that and get in here and drop this off so yeah i'm gonna go and get a pallet fork and head back up here and we'll test this seed storage and see how well this works now too decided to kill two birds with one stone while i'm up here i've brought with us the tlx so what i should be able to do with the flatbed on this is put on the uh, remaining liquid fertilizer we got which is not much but should be uh, should be enough and we want to pop into the shop grab ourselves a forklift i don't believe we have a set yet let's check this telehandler and forks are there we have no forks okay so let's buy a set of those perfect and those should be out here ready for us somewhere yeah in amongst our bales we do need to get these bales back as well at some point uh they are sitting here and probably before so next game day we should be all right yeah before the thursday so oh, i forget we have to go all the way around here and get these to hook up from this side uh, but yeah, we, we should be able to do that. We can get the trailer back here and we can prepare for planting the corn uh, and the soybeans by doing our... Uh, by uh, filling up the trailer with the remaining bales here and getting the seeds we need. Uh, I don't think we're going to need more than one pallet of seeds for the soybeans they're a similar sort of size well they're all small seeds everything we're planting this year is small seeds so uh, we're only going to need a single pallet for soybeans and we might need two pallets of the corn uh, considering how big the field that we're going to is let's get this on the back of here yeah this tlx with the flatbed on it is quite useful when we've got jobs like this to do so Drop that on. Drop that onto that. There we go. Back it off. And we'll just very carefully push that on a little bit. We don't need to worry about it too much. Uh, but that just straighten that up. Now, I don't understand. Before, I remember when we did the lime, I was having trouble with this flatbed, and I don't know why. It's a bit weird. Uh, so there we go that's what i want to do i want to raise the suspension a little bit at the front and then we'll get it to follow on the way back because this is the slower piece of equipment so follow that and we'll head back up to the farm and see if our seed storage will take uh, individual pallets back down to our farm and we'll now see if the seed storage takes the individual type of seeds we have from the realistic seeder or whether it's just general seeds we need to store in there pretty much everything else takes the single seed stuff so this will be interesting i'm gonna stop that there uh we should be able to i think we've got liquid storage here somewhere as well uh maybe not i thought we did uh, but certainly I think this takes our fertilizer too so let's try this pick that up 
and see if the sunflowers will go in there. It should be just a case of holding these bags over to see if it works. Uh, it looks like we're not using a huge amount of seeds anyway. So let's go over here. So yeah, this is our seed storage, which is pretty cool. Open that up. At least I think it is. Maybe it isn't. On the map, when I have a look at this, what does that say it is? Uh, it just says farm silo. Maybe it isn't seed storage. Maybe that is... Because this is our main farm silo here. That's our lime station. I thought... This actually is not... That... Looks like a fermenting silo. Interesting. I'm going to hold this over and see if anything happens. Uh, but... Oh, no, it does. It has filled it. It has gone into there. So, yeah, I think this is a... I think this is a storage silo for seeds and for liquids, by the looks of things. So, we're going to try the same thing over here now with this. So, uh, the rest of this. And then, what I'm going to try and do is refill our cedar from, in, uh, from under it. So let's go over here and load this up. I'm expecting this to disappear into it as well. This this could be really strong. I wonder if it takes lime as well. Uh, although we have a you know we have lime storage already. That lower, back it out. Yeah, mom. There we go. Get that up. And then take this over here see if this disappears as well that is not on there very securely but that's all right that does not go into there okay fine so that is for seeds and uh, and solid fertilizer i think i think there's a separate liquid fertilizer one uh, if i remember correctly so we can put the other load of sunflower seeds in here will work well for us and then what we'll do is uh, we'll refill the liquid fertilizer into it right let's see if we can get this on here better uh, we'll refill the liquid fertilizer in and uh, that'll be all good but all in all that is fairly su successful we need to get a bucket as well for our cows so that we can clear out our cows don't know if we've got much in the way of yeah we've got a little bit but not much at the moment very much considering uh well i don't know i, I think a manure spreader is something we can tow behind the tlx uh the the phoenix um i'm not sure that a uh, i'm not sure that we can do the same with a slurry spreader uh, either way, I'm going to need to put agricultural tyres, I think, on the Phoenix. Uh, because we're going to be using it for field work as well as the others. Seeds all in our silo. So we can uh, move this out the way. And let's just refill this. So it should be a case of just driving up beside these. I think we're going to end up leaving these jewels on this tractor quite a bit, considering the amount of work we've got to do. There we go. So refill that. Only a thousand litres there. And then we'll refill the other one over here. Like that. There we go. So that is all filled. Um, what I want to do now is, uh, well, we can actually just leave this in the yard. We're going to be using it. Well, no, we're not going to be using it for a couple of days. So I am going to uh, get it parked up. Uh, what I need to do, though, is get that bag lifter. We can probably sell that bag lifter. I don't think we're really going to be using it at this point. It was useful when we were doing uh, the lime at the start. And in fact, that was where my connection issue was. It was connecting up the bags. Um, but yeah, I don't think we're going to be using it that much. So uh, I think we can sell that 
get rid of it. So we'll take that down to the shop next time. Uh, I'll hook it onto the front of this now. I think this is going to be quite a good little place, actually, to keep our telehandler. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we'll hook that on. We'll get that out of the way now. Uh, next time we can take it down to the shop when we go to get the bucket uh, for this. And we're going to have to do a couple of trips to the shop next time, I think, to sort of get all those bales back and sort it. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to look for a... I think I'm going to look for a good manure spreader we can put on the back of the TLX Phoenix. If you have any suggestions for it, uh, please let us know. Please put it in the comments. Uh, I do want to get rid of my other bale spike quickly. Back up. Uh, but yeah, if you have any uh, suggestions for a truck towable manure spreader that we can use on here i would be very grateful that would be we can uh, give that a go on here and uh, and get the tlx doing that because there's not one for that john deere uh spreader unfortunately and uh, and we can do that next time the space cleared in our shed we can now back this into here so, yeah, we need to cultivate next time as well. So that huge field we've got there, uh, we need to get a cultivator and get that done. Uh, so I'm open to possible John Deere cultivators as well. Uh, let us know what options uh, you think there are out there for that, because uh, that would be quite cool. Let's disconnect all that, though, and get this over here. We could use solid fertilizer and not have to buy a sprayer although we do need to buy a sprayer for doing the herbicide anyway so yeah that's a bit of a moot point but let's bring this around park it up and uh yeah i'm quite happy with that that's a good place for us to be today so i'm gonna head back to my car take this home and uh we are good for our third day on here so I'm going to leave this here for now, which means all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.